Hey, welcome back to another build episode. I did not expect to make one so soon. The new build that I was going to talk about is this turtle build. It's actually very unexpected. I wasn't, you know, expecting the turtle to be so strong until I did uh, the the ancient witch dungeon. Let me look at this dungeon. What dungeon is it? The witch queen catacombs. So this build is. We start with the passives. We have quick charge, which is the turtle's normal one, which you can't change. So the first major passive that we're going to put on him is strong man. That's because the amount of knockback effects you're going to put on them is going to be absolutely insane and the damage you're going to be doing is just absolutely crazy so that's the first passive next you're going to be putting zom nom nom this passive is gained from the zombie three percent of damage you deal is restored its health so this is because you're going to be in melee so much and the amount of damage you can deal you're pretty much going to be unkillable honestly so we're going to put that in strong man that's gained from a strong man i forgot to say all right for abilities Water spray is really, really optional. When I was playing this build, I didn't really need it. I instead ran Zombite. But you know, it's up to you. The Zombite, honestly, it's because you're gonna be clearing so many mobs. So you're gonna take one bite, then you're gonna go into the middle of a mob pack and just start spitting away. That's optional. I think pump up is really, really good in this build because you're gonna be spamming auto attacks, your basic. And the stronger you make that, better it's gonna be. So you just stack up, you know, five, three, even one doesn't really matter, and you're gonna be hammering away mobs. All right, Hell Shell. This ability, I thought it was crap because you needed to charge down, but no, you did not need to charge this ability down at all. Okay, with Hell Shell, it's a bait, right? Because it says hold A to charge speed and damage, but the damage you do from charging it is so minusculely higher that you're just not gonna, you're just gonna do at more DPS by just tapping it. So doing this, whoops, doing this, you're gonna do so much more damage than going this, this and the amount of knockback you do from each of these is going to cause so much damage. So, I'm going to show you guys clips of how this build works. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that clip with this new build. It's gonna be doing so much damage. You're gonna love it inside the witch dungeon. I thought it was like, I was looking for something to use in that dungeon because I didn't want to play my magician build again. And this one was the one. You can play it around mid game. I'm, I will definitely update this build and use it into the late game when I unlock fourth abilities and more abilities to put in and more passives. Hope you enjoyed this build.